would like you to go through and concentrate the uh, the importance of uh, small smallness small portions of that when we are considering a particular subject items in uh, in engineering field or in mathematics we we consider those portions that we could comprehend as very uh, significant in all so for example if we will dealing a minute in a minute then we will consider a minute and we will derive its function by itself then we could uh, get comprehend and we will get value of how it could expand further how it could give more importance value on itself so we will go on on this as we go on further on this i would just erase this samples then we will uh, go back again on the on the later uh, discussions so x squared plus 2x dx plus dx squared this would be a significant value as we are going to apply it in this uh, topic now on this uh, portions a minute I mean, it brings a significant value on that. So, for example, we say one minute. One minute itself, we will get corresponds of that of how we could use or how, how we could comprehend that one. So, in an hour. So, in an hour, in one hour, in a minute, in one hour. How many minutes on that one? So in one hour, as I've, uh, we have discussed this one, it is 60 minutes, no? During this era, if we value this self, if we just comprehend and take it, the a little bit of something, a fraction of this 60 minutes, then we have to consider a minute of that. Is it just going one minute? Let's say dx, as we define it further in layman's terms, is a little bit. Yeah? A little bit, an amount, a fraction of that, a part of it, for a minute. Those error that we have, in order that we could simplify it further, down more and more in a small portions they, they called it before the second order they call it a one minute no a 60 60 still no? still smaller parts those errors they have called they called it second minutes they call that second minute okay which which now we are adopting that today so in next 60 minutes we have 60 seconds okay so this would be the second order if we will just get this one there down this would be um, we would consider this one here one minute one minute of it then we will be getting it through more significantly into value to the second second order there's a second order of that one we will want to squeeze it compress it a minute on that one then it will breathe down to seconds A small fraction of that okay now one minute is a small fractions is a smaller than compared with a whole day yeah this is a whole day 
how much smaller by comparison is in one second. It's just very uh, insignificant. It's a significant. So depending of how how valuable the uh, the items that we would like to consider, if it's negligible or not. So if it's negligible, it says that uh, the the kind of consideration, the kind of differentiating it is insignificant or it doesn't make any value at all so it depends upon that say let's say about that if we are going to consider about here in the Philippines and uh, like on this depending upon the denomination the currency denominations here in the Philippines we have used peso uh, peso against dollars it's uh, different it has a huge uh, currency conversion of that so just like a $52 or $62 and uh, uh, more significantly in pounds so here and uh, the value of 1 million compares to 100 pesos you just say that one is is a, is a huge difference on that and then it depends about what how much significant value you are going to put that one or you are going to consider it so once you bring it down to 100 you could see this one to 50 pesos then down it to 10 pesos or centavos shall we say in that one if you are going to reduce it further in a fraction a fraction reduce it further and consider it so as we go on to how many levels of degrees and that and considering by expounding a fraction of it, a fraction of it, fraction of it, then it could be negligible and doesn't need at all. No, except if we were going to um, make a comparison, convert it, or uh, we have to compare or add it on, multiply it when with the with the higher value. So in, in numerical fractions. This would be constitutionally not proportional, in proportion of that one. When you get this one with a 1 million or any other in a 100,000 or 10,000, significantly, if you are going to reduce a particular amount, you could see a divert of that in a calculus. We will be deriving this one by using a dx, a little bit of that. So then uh, we have a dy or shall we say DZ is a little bit something in that now in a higher degree is a state a higher degree of smallness we could consider it uh, upon doing on that so as a as a student or any body that would like to uh, comprehend these mathematical expressions it's up to you to consider or analyze something if it is significant or not. It, it, it would add value on that. But for the matter of fact that we are going to consider based on this theory, based on this analysis that is given by uh, Professor uh, Thompson's, this, we could easily com comprehend. We could easily base on this uh, analogy. Now, 1 over 60 is just like a small fraction on that. Now, a small fraction, uh, small fractions, say, in, in a minute, in a, in a minute, in a minute, let's say, for example, in a minute, You bring down it is sixtieth of an hour. No? So sixtieth of an hour. It's just only a small fraction of the smallness of a minute. Which we have decided on that. So when we are going to consider it. Say, for example, if you are going to please in the first degree consideration, 
does it mind anymore? Does it mind more to have a value of this? One the, this is a small fraction of this of the first degree analysis. Now, if we go on this one on the second degree, we will say this one is 1 over 60th. It's a fraction of 1 over 60th. Being a small fractions, a small fraction of a fraction. Okay? So if we're going to make a, a differentiation of that one, consider of this items to the second order. So if we'll go on this side, this is the second order analysis. Second order. We're going to subject it to a small fraction, to a small fraction of that. Then we could get if it is negligible or not or so on and on or we will go another fraction of that one to one six sixty was the there would the result if it's negligible or something significant of that one then it's up to us if it's still uh, adds value so what would they happen on that one is we are going to co consider a particular subject or variable that will be needed if it's something that it grows more or it hands powder, it's a some some incremental values of that one. When we are deciding this one, if x is a variable, then we are going to use a dx is something to get comprehend is a little bit of fraction of this 160 if x is 160, 1 over 60 out of that. So it is this this uh this comparison of this one is considered a small fraction of a fraction of a second order. Okay? It is a second order analysis of this. Now, for example, we are going to adding, adding it up. We, we just comprehend on this by analogy into another sample. it up with the one percent that we have one percent as we know is a one over 100 okay this is the first degree analogy of a fractions of one percent okay one percent degree of a fractions now it is we are going to subject the 1 over 100 to a part of another 1 of 100 this is analogy is the second is a fraction of 100 a fraction of 100 of another fraction of So we add value on the second order. This would be one, and this would be second. Now, if we just go on and go on this one, one over 100, of one over 100, of over 100, of, of one over n, for example, this is the value, or this is the value x, shall we say. Then, the values would go on this one from here. If we go on this one here, this portion, this significant portion of that, will go on, will go compress the volume of that. All day, it takes a lot of orders. It's just like one, second, third, fourth. How do we squeeze it? 
squeeze a fraction of that one, a fraction of that. This is what we call this one as different degrees of smallness. Then we will say in that on the later part of these chapters, are we consider is we this analogy or does it matter much in our analysis as we're going to divert this one in the calculations in in using this methodology? Now we just propose on this one, we could get 100 or 100 on this one. It could give us a 1 million. So you see, 1 million is the result of that. So for example, this, it can go like this. This is 1 million. Okay, now, this is a small quantity. When we divide this one, one to one million, it be, it's bigger, but it has a small quantity. You see, one over one million. Now, if you are going to Consider and make a comprehension of this. For example, this one, 1 over 1 million. A for this portion of this one on the first degree, it will be subject a little bit of another 1 million. Does it pose a significant? Is this a significant value of that one, raising that it would be raising this one to one billion. So this is the second order of a small value. No? This is the second order. with a small value. This is small. The second order of the value of smallness. Just if like smallness. Shall we say the stage of being is smallness. So by comparison we will disregard this one because the bigger it is on that, the bigger we subject this one to portion by portion, this would be negligible later on. But it helps in our analysis how a particular mixture, how a particular um, items, variable, or problem varies. It, it, it multiplies. It adds something or it devalues itself. So look at up this one here. Okay? So the more the smaller one we need, we consider this one to to subject to itself, it will become more more uh, smaller on the second order it becomes. So that being as to that bring us to a sayings that the smaller quantity itself is the more negligible the small quantity huh? second order it becomes it will be negligible later on So, in his sayings that we have here that in all cases, we are justified.
in neglecting the small quantities. Of the second, or the third, or in higher order. We have to say this up here, yeah. 1 over x, in the first degree, subject to 1 over x, in the second degree, subject to 1 x, third, 1 x, fourth, dot 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 dot, 1 over x, to n. This is number this one here up to infinity. So it would be enough if we will consider this one. If it is enough, then we will. If we are up to to the second degree, if this one will consider three up to the higher order. If this is enough, then we would not be considering this one here. For example, we would not be considered for the for the basis of comparison. Then. We will see this one and we will try to comprehend on this. But if we will just get subject that it is enough in itself in the first or second degree, then we will just consider it. Thus, it's how on the different degrees of smallness or to the body that it adds on on that. So, if it's small quantities, it adds on this one that we have to remember that a small quantities if they occur in an algebraic expressions as we may say in mathematical expression if we, it may become important if other factor is larger on that so it has a significant value take for example if we will uh, just consider 25 pesos or just like a one dollar go to one million dollars uh, what is happening if you are going to get how many uh, a five peso uh, a five dollars if you just add on to a million times one million then it would be more significant value on that to add it on okay well we're just trying this one to make the value on the uh, the higher just like that the 25 pesos if we had just to reduce and reduce that one as it goes here on this on this relationship algebraic expressions then the the proceeding the succeeding expression of that one to the higher order would become negligible if it will become smaller and smaller the only thing that we'd like to consider this one is how much is the significant amount would add value of that one if it would be uh, it would be uh, subjected to the higher value so it would be become significant if it is uh, multiplied to other values now in calculus in calculus we we'll write the x as i have uh, explained it and, and i have uh, mentioned it over and over again In calculus, write the x for a little bit. Of x, okay, a little bit of x. So, this is x. If this is x. We need something a little bit of that one portion, a little bit, a small fractions, a small fraction, or shall we say a small portion, or a small part. 
out from it. So this thing such as it could allu not only for x, it could be also for du. Okay? And it could be for dy also. Let's make something if if we call a variable of u, if you will be also having to solve also the value of y, then we mean value of a little bit of y, a little bit of u. So a little bit of y, a little bit of u also. That would be dy, that would be du also. Okay? Then we could differentiate x or u or y, as the case may be. Now, it doesn't make also that this one would be x dx if it doesn't follow to the degree that we have been discussing. Or just like x squared dx or ex dx. It's that not, it does not correspond to the uh, relationship, to the formula that we have been uh, mentioning a while ago. So this one is not relatively related on this kind of relationship. They are negligible. Okay? Now, now how about this one here? dx times dx. So th that would be also, if you are going to use a little bit, no? And Lehman's term times a little bit. It would be a little bit times a little bit of that one here a little portion it would become so when we subjecting this one here the more it will become smaller so if it, if this one here uh, already subjected to dx uh, for example this one here let's value that it will become dx. This would be subjected to another. This one, dx on the first order. Then it would be dx on the second order. So this one would become smaller. Okay, it will become smaller. So this one here, first degree, then it's the second degree. It would be become also as dx squared. dx squared on the relationship is a little bit, a little bit, times it is, it would be on the second order. This is the second relative, this is the smallness of that one. Uh, negligible. So, on the portion that we have, we have a uh, so a while ago regarding the x x x x plus dy which give us a value of x plus 2 dx plus dx squared so this is the result of that. 